You want to light them and I'll hold them? There you go. We got that. I'm going to do that. You got it? Well, I'm going to let that in the can. <laughs> On this day in June of 1987, one of the great comeback stories in our nation's history was culminated. The city of Cleveland, Ohio, the butt of everyone's jokes as the first major city since the Great Depression to go into financial default, burned off that symbolic mortgage and announced itself now free, unburdened, and more ready than ever to become the great American city it once was. It was to all the world an achievement of an impossible dream, a reaffirmation of what people working together can do. And for this man, George Voinovich, although he would be the last to say so, a personal triumph of leadership. On this day, Mayor George Voinovich typically would give credit to others, the business and civic leaders, the workers and the citizens. And he would call it the end of one of the saddest segments in Cleveland history. But it was also something else. In a time when many of us have become cynical and doubt the ability of government and its leaders, the George Voinovich story stands out and points the way to what we really can do for our state and for our country. For this man did more than pay off a debt. He led a city to life again. Cleveland has been brought from the depth of red ink, recession and ridicule, to the heights of pride and progress for tomorrow. Under the leadership of George Voinovich and for his building of successful public-private partnerships, it was named, and unprecedented three times, as All-American City. Once forsaken by investors, Cleveland now has $2 billion in new construction completed or underway. Caught in the dilemma of a loss of its heavy industrial base, this city has managed to replace lost jobs with dedication and imaginative new enterprise. And wherever you go, wherever you look, the pride is back. Twice re-elected by overwhelming margins by people from every walk of life, this Republican mayor in a city that is eight to one Democrat, for his innovations, his ability to bring people together, for his tremendous savings in the cost of running government, and for the sheer weight of his achievements in so little time, was named one of the three most effective mayors in America and listed as one of the few people with impact on Washington. He was, in fact, chosen president of the National League of Cities, making him the spokesman for all of Ohio's and all of America's cities and towns. Who is this George Voinovich who has done so much? And why do we look to him as the senator our country and our state need today? What you're going to discover is that George Voinovich does not fit the picture of what you might imagine as a typical big city mayor. He is more Ohio than he belongs to any one city. Born one of six children of first-generation hardworking parents, George, too, faced the immediate prospect of earning his way through this world almost from the very beginning. He sold newspapers. He worked as a construction laborer found time to involve himself in a host of community activities and was elected president of his high school. After a bachelor's degree in government from Ohio U, where he was also president of the student body and a law degree from Ohio State, George Voinovich began his professional career in the blue-collar neighborhoods of his hometown. Later, Attorney General William Saxby would choose him to be an assistant attorney general for our state. And three years later, George Voinovich was elected to the first of three terms in the Ohio House, where he sponsored Ohio's homestead law, offering tax relief to senior citizens, legislation to clean up and ban oil and gas drilling in Lake Erie, and was a principal force behind Ohio's anti-riot laws and stricter penalties against gun-toting criminals. When he became Cuyahoga County Auditor in the early 70s, he not only initiated modern management systems to save taxpayers' money, but he went to Columbus and lobbied successfully on two different occasions to see that the tax breaks came through. In 1976, against a heavily favored Democrat, George Voinovich was elected County Commissioner of Cuyahoga County, 
an important Ohio office because Cuyahoga is the second largest government in our state. Despite rampant inflation, he found ways to complete his term with a county budget that worked with a million dollars less money than when he started. With Jim Rhodes, he was elected Lieutenant Governor of the state of Ohio and moved to Columbus. But from there, he watched his hometown of Cleveland suffer until he knew he had to return with a program and a dedication to save it. He was elected mayor for the first time in 1979. But to know George Voinovich, you must also know those who are, every day, closest to him. He has been married to Janet for 25 years, and along the way, but never far away, are young George, Betsy, and Peter. You just can't know George Voinovich unless you know his family. History has often placed the right person in the right place at the right time. The state is Ohio, the time is now, and Ohio and our country have never been more ready for the quality of leadership that George Voinovich has already demonstrated. To saddle our state and our country any longer with the worn out, failed philosophy of Senator Howard Metzenbaum seems unthinkable. Yet his friends and backers, many from out of state, make him more than formidable. Now is the time when Ohio needs its very best. And in George Voinovich, that is exactly what we have. He is already known and admired statewide for his service as Lieutenant Governor. But when you look at the populous northeast corner of our state, you will also find that George Voinovich, on Mr. Metzenbaum's own turf, has been more than a match for the incumbent. Democrats, Republicans, Independents, all who live there, have had a chance to compare, and the answer is Voinovich. And as George Voinovich travels the rest of Ohio, it is all of us who are discovering the leadership and the true Midwestern values that make him the senator we want to speak for us. I'm George Voinovich, and I'm running against Howard Metzenbaum to be your United States senator. In the months ahead, we're going to get to know each other pretty well. And you're going to find that my family and yours have similar goals. We want a country where our children have the opportunity for a job and a decent standard of living. We just can't keep mortgaging their future away. We need to do better, for their sake, for America's. And with George Voinovich come many of our own ideas to strengthen our country. No one fights spending beyond our means any harder than George Voinovich. And if anyone in this state ever proved it, he has. Balancing the budget in Cleveland every year in office. No one encourages the development of business and private sector involvement as a solution to our problems more than George Voinovich. That too is on the record. As is a commitment to a strong national defense and a firm and fair trade policy to protect American jobs. And name another Ohioan who has spoken out so knowingly and fearlessly for the human rights of those in captive nations. George Voinovich's accomplishments are no greater demonstration of what independence in this country is all about. Mayor Voinovich, working in the most dire of circumstances, didn't ask for a bailout or wait for a handout. He got his act together and proved that people working together can do it themselves. And you will find that in doing so, George Voinovich won the overwhelming respect and admiration of both Democrats and Republicans alike. But for all of Ohio, the best is yet to come. What makes George Voinovich so special is who George Voinovich is. Somebody you're just going to happen to like. The power to achieve is in the modesty and humor. The strength is in his ethics, faith, and strong family attachments. Goals, no matter how impossible, are somehow reached. What a senator he can be. And what a source of pride for our state. The lesson we've learned from George Voinovich already, according to the Toledo Blade, could well be 
a lesson for America's future. And know this about what his election will mean to Ohio. A senator with a proven capacity to care about every one of his constituents. And he will care about all 11 million of us. A senator who you know will fight for Ohio's share of our country's prosperity, meaning jobs and industry. A senator who knows how to inspire the rebuilding of our economy and ensure its competitiveness in today's world. A senator with an Ohio agenda. There was a baseball manager who was once quoted to the effect that these guys couldn't be winners. He was wrong because he never met George Voinovich. If there's ever been a campaign for you to become involved in and give your heart and soul to, this is it. And George would really like to work with you.